is Shilonen a must pull character now we know genshin impact is going to release Shilonen in 5.1 of genshin impact and everybody is on the edge of their seats saying hey i think she's going to be the next great character she's going to be the next kazaha in fact i made a video and i think it might as well be the case she has something in her kit that's very unique and makes her very viable and allows Geo to be an actually usable element. And Geo hasn't been very applied into the main meta. Um, but with the release of characters like Navia, with the characters like Chiori, they're trying to push back Geo back into the quote unquote meta of the game. Of course, at the end of the day, there is no such thing as a quote unquote must pull character a character that you can just play with have fun enjoy like the character and can do you good in the game and you can push it to their limits and have fun that is what you want a quote-unquote must pull character doesn't really exist but let's say we're playing devil's advocate here and we want a character that does the most for the account then i'd have to go ahead and say yeah all right, fine. In general, she just has a lot to her kit that make her a great character. She can be a DPS character if you have Geo characters within your team. She can be a support character if you have different types of elements in her team. And she can also be a healer, which can heal for a lot and can be a really strong one at that, which makes her a very viable character and one that is so good since the release of maybe Furina. Furina, as we all know, is an insane character with a lot of value. Shilonen would be up there with the quote unquote better characters like Kazaha, like Bennett, like Raiden, like Nahida, like all these really strong characters, I'd say Shilonen would fit up there and bring Geo to a place where hey, it doesn't have to be a Geo character within that team to be a good character, which is really awesome. It's not just Geo for Geo and strictly that, it's Geo for everything, which we haven't had in a really long time. We've had characters, for example, like Yin Jin, which you need different types of characters so you can get the better buffs and you can buff other types of characters. But we haven't had one that do this, the one that elemental resistance decrease, the one that can heal, the one that can do damage. A lot of stuff just sort of come into play with Shilanin as a character and I definitely think it's pretty awesome and unique. Finally, right? Geo is back. Geo might actually be pretty decent with her release. But that does not mean that she's the be all end all character. There are obviously other characters that can do something similar and can be of use anyway. But yes, Shilonen is going to be a decent character to go for. And one that I am going for too. And something that I like about Geo is that you, it's, you build them different. You build them on defense. You build them uh, not the usual way it doesn't have to be attack percentage it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be attack oriented right so some of the weapons or whatever it may be you don't have to focus on the attack stat at all you just have to focus on the defense stat and that could possibly make them really good even though some geo characters don't really have that but i'm pretty sure most of them have that defense that you need in order to make them better, especially with the artifact sets that have been released in the couple of patches that have you know released in the past. We've seen the release of the husk, which allows you to do more uh, defense percentage oriented damage. It gives you defense percentage and that's uh, pretty awesome, right? Now, Geo itself has never been a good element at least not from what i remember it's always been very niche and it's only good for one patch out of the many patches during the year which is unfortunate but it's only when a good geo character comes out like when navia came out geo was pretty much the thing right when uh cherry came out when uh, ito came out those were characters that are like oh wow geo is Okay, and then the patches after that, nobody uses Geo anymore because it's just unusable. But characters like Zhongli, which have infinite reusability, he's always good, Shielder, 
allows the defense percentage decrease it is just generally universally good and that is what geo characters can be and that is where they shine and that is where Shilonen is going to make her absolute biggest impact within this whole thing and i'm very very thankful that Genshin has made the leap to make a character like this exist. And I'm very excited that it is Shilonen, which means she's going to have a Night Soul Blessing, which we've seen in the live stream, and it looks absolutely sick. And I cannot wait for the release of Shilonen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, some of your thoughts are you guys going to summon Shilonen or not? Is she a must pull quote unquote character for you guys? Or hey, I mean, if you like it, the character, get him. If you don't, don't, right? See you guys next time very soon. Goodbye.